Hi everybody, I'm Vivian from the Miku team and today we're going to be looking at how we can draw birds in pixel art. So one of my favorite animals, they can do so much, they live in all parts of the world, very versatile animal to draw. So let's start with making a left bird, which I think means a bird facing to the left. And let me tell you my bird drawing theory. So to me, there are a couple of components to a bird. There's the head, the body and the tail, the wings and the beak and the eyes. So putting all of this together, you can have a bird that's doing whatever in whatever direction. So let's start off with making the head. Pretty good bird shaped head and then the body. And then depending on what your bird is doing or which direction it's facing or how fast it is, the body shape will change. And then this is a little tail. I'm okay with that. And then let's do the wings. So I'm going to do like a relatively slow flying bird flying to the left. And this is not like based on any real bird. Could be a pelican or a seagull. This is just like a Vivian bird. And then the beak. Actually, I want the beak to be a bit longer. So let's make this mm, 20. And then pick up the orange again. And then make the beak. And then let's reshape the wings a little bit. And you basically just like mess around with the pixels until it's the shape that you think looks good. I'm going to bring, tighten this in. Okay. Mm, no, let's, let's put this here. Okay. And then we got to give it some eyes. So since it's flying to the left, I want it to be looking to the left. Two eyes. One eye. Let's do one eye. That looks pretty good. Okay. And let's do some shading. So I'm going to shade this white body with light blue, but you can shade it with a different color. So this tan color might also look nice on top of the white or maybe even pink. But it's really like up to you. You have like, it's kind of like doing science, right? You have this theory and the theory is, or you have a hypothesis and the hypothesis is light blue is going to look good shaded on top of white. And then you try it out and you see what it looks like and you collect your results and have some thoughts. And that's what pixel art is for me. So I think the light blue looks pretty good on here. Um, but, but experiment, try out different things. And the last thing I'm going to do is make an outline for my sprite. So I usually like adding outlines when I have a multicolored sprite who's going to be on top of a multicolored background because then it's pretty noisy and you can't really guarantee that the colors in your sprite aren't going to be in the background and your sprite won't be like be melding into the back. So having an outline really helps define what is the sprite and what is the background. And I like making that clear. And I can actually shave off a pixel here. Okay, let's see how that looks. Oh man, what a stylish bird. I'm a big fan. Okay, so left bird, let's make another one called down bird, which is gonna be a bird looking down. And we're gonna use the same method as before where we have the head and then the body plus tail. So like the body shape. And since it's gonna be like a bird dive bombing for a fish in the water. We're going to see everything. And then since you got to be fast to catch fish, I'm going to have the wings like kind of pointy. Got to be super streamlined. The fish will never see it coming. And then bring it up. What a beautiful bird. It's not symmetrical. That's okay. And then, okay, let's make this taller. 20. And then bring out the orange for the beak straight into the water. Let's bring out the eyes. So one issue with um, having an outline is that you can't really have the black straight up on the edge because then that'll look like the outline's coming in. So you can fix that by either using a different color for the outline or a different color for the eyes or just not putting it next to the edge, which is what I'm doing here. And then once again, I'm going to maintain my hypothesis testing before by using the light blue to shade this white. And I'm also going to add some shade 
here to have it kind of like clarify the body from the wings. And let's outline. I like doing the outline like on a corner here. I don't do it along all three walls because I don't like it makes it really clunky and chunky and you don't really need that. You can take away this pixel and you still get the outline plus it's lightweight. So that's what I'm doing. And this part is very like fun to do. It's kind of like coloring in a coloring book. Okay, so we need a bit more space on the X to add in the outline and a bit more space on the top. So let's add two here and then change this to one. And I'm using control A to select all in pixels, shifting it over to the right one and then shifting it down one. Okay, let's see how that looks. We gotta reposition this sprite, not the velocity. Reposition it so that they aren't overlapping each other. Let's just put it over here. Oh man, I think it looks great. You can see its eyes. It sees something exciting down in the water. It's diving for it. Awesome. So let's do one more. Upward. <laughs> for completion or we could even do like sitting bird okay let's do up bird first okay same thing bird looking up so head is gonna be up bird body is here maybe it should have a tail i don't know what bird this is and then add some wings I actually like the shape of this wing better, so I'm going to shave it off here. And then let's use the marquee tool to dr drag it over and shift it over one. And you might be like, Vivian, how are you switching tools so quickly? That's not humanly possible. And that's true because I'm not a human switching tools. I'm a robot switching tools. I'm using the keyboard for shortcuts. So one of them that is easy to remember is using B for brush and that will pick up the little pen tool and there's a couple more of them that are kind of hard to find out they're kind of secrets like on a special menu secret menu um, but once you find them out they're pretty pretty easy to use and they help you make pixel art much faster um, another one I like to use is using alt to bring up this eyedropper tool and it'll pick up the colors from the canvas so if I click it over the white, it picks up white. So that also really helps pick up colors pretty quickly. And so I'm using Control A again, dragging my sprite down, using the orange for the beak. Mm, okay. Mm, I don't want it to be a fat beat, so we gotta make this even out. And by even out, I mean odd out, because we need an odd number of pixels to make the beak have a point. So now we have five pixels across, which means the third one can be the point. And then there's no eyes here because it's looking up. And then let's scoot it out a little bit. I want some more room to work with this wing. And then let's have it pointy here. And let's get rid of these pixels. They're extra. Okay, now it's not symmetrical. Which one do I like better? I kind of like this, the shape of this wing better. So let's Copy the basic shape of that over. And then that's pretty good. I'm not I'm not angry about that. And let's outline. I feel like with pixel art, you can't really tell what it looks like until you see the final product at scale, which is the small scale. Okay, let's add one to the side. So sometimes you just gotta believe something's gonna look awesome until you can see it at the correct scale. Okay, and 
we were almost right at size, but we still need one more pixel here. So let's make it one more pixel tall. So 17, control A, drag it down, pick up that black again. Okay, that's all here. And let's bring up the shading a bit more so we can more clearly define the body of the bird from the wings. And let's see what it looks like. Oh, also, let's reposition. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. A bird. Wow, I feel like it looks great. I Okay, I kind of want to make the beak a little bit pointier. So let's make this 19. Drag you down. Because, you know, this bird is obviously a fishing bird. If it doesn't have a pointy beak, it can't spear the fish. So really important to me that we get that right. And then there we have it. Birds of all three directions. I hope you can try out this method with the head, body, wings to try out like maybe a diagonal bird or like a sitting bird or like a sleeping bird. That might be a fun challenge, like having to put the head underneath the wing. That's how birds sleep. But um, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something and send me the pictures of the birds you draw. It doesn't have to be white birds because there's so many birds in the world. So um, thanks for watching. Bye.